Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Ben Page. Ben is the Lake Habitat Section Chief, and in this video, he's going to introduce to you exactly what he does for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission and how he got started. Thanks, Cody. Uh, we're standing here in front of Raystown Lake, which is one of many reservoirs that we have across the state of Pennsylvania, and not all fish habitat. Uh, is healthy in all of our reservoirs. So in certain situations where uh, fish habitat is devoid in areas of your reservoir, we can work together uh, through partnerships through the Cooperative Habitat Improvement Program. Um, and I supervise a, a team of habitat managers that work through that program. And in that program, we can work with our partners like the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers or DCNR or County Conservation Districts, as well as volunteer groups, conservation uh, partnerships. And what we'll do is we'll design, plan, implement, uh, you know, permit all of these different structure types that we have here on the table, as well as some of the, the deflectors that we have behind us. We have many different approaches and so we work as a team all across the state of Pennsylvania and we typically service 20 to 30 different reservoirs in a year's time. Uh, on our Fish and Boat Commission website, you'll see over 100 different reservoirs that we've serviced over the years and that all of those plan maps with latitude and longitude are all located on that site. And that's also part of uh, our jobs as habitat managers to uh, release that information. We, when we do a new habitat site, it's important to let our anglers know where we do those types of projects. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Ben. So if you would provide us with a little bit of insight into your past, when did you first begin to know that you were going to pursue a career in this field? Yeah, I would say it probably started when I was five years old. Uh, my grandmother introduced me to, to fishing and, uh, you know, fishing can be very simple. Uh, it can also be very complex. And, uh, you know, a lot of times it helps to have a mentor like that. So I always encourage active anglers to introduce people to it. And uh, she was definitely a mentor to me and showed me you know all the little tips and tricks to how to break down water and how to fish for different types different species of fish and i think it all started then and from there i used to ride my bike every day every day i would fish a creek or a pond uh, you know and it just expanded from there and i still fish very avidly today i have four children that fish um, you know, and from there I knew that I, I wanted to have a career in the outdoors, whether it was fish or wildlife. Uh, I attended Penn State University and uh, got a bachelor's degree in wildlife fisheries science and uh, still wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to go into. And that's okay, you know, as, as, a, as a young student, uh, you might not know exactly what you're going to end up doing. But if you have a field that you really have a lot of interest in, uh, it makes work that much easier if you do find a position. And so I made contact with uh, uh, DEP and Fish and Boat Commission. I started off with DEP as an intern and grew my experience a little bit and uh, had multiple interviews with Fish and Boat Commission. And lucky for me, a habitat seasonal position came open. And I had no idea that Fish and Boat did habitat uh, interviewed for the position and it really lined up with my interests uh, you know obviously helping out the fisheries helping out the anglers but it also gives you a chance to get hands-on and build structure to be put into the reservoirs and uh, from there you know just really focused on uh, the importance of being a professional you know I really enjoy working with our anglers working with our partners and uh, you know and that's just how I, I kind of moved up uh, from starting as a seasonal, which a lot of us do start as seasonal, so it's okay to start at that level and, and work your way up, hopefully find a full-time position and eventually maybe a supervisor position. That's great. Thank you very much for that, Ben. Uh, to conclude this video, what are some ways that fishing license sales, those fishing license dollars, help you do what you do? Yeah, so the fishing license dollars pay for a lot of the materials and equipment that allow us to do the fish habitat improvement projects. And so, uh, you know, it supports our cooperative habitat improvement program, which we utilize all over the state. Uh, this particular year, we utilize the voluntary bass permit, uh, which we promoted in 2019. And this year, we put a lot of those dollars, or all the dollars from the bass permit, 
into four different reservoirs across the state and we're planning to do the same thing again next year. All right, thank you very much for everything, Ben. And Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission looks forward to working with you more in the future. Yeah, thanks.